Here we are in our example form 1040, populating it with Lacert Tax Software. You don't need Tax Software to follow along, but if you have access to it, it's a great tool to run scenarios with. You can also get access to the form 1040 related forms and schedules at the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. Starting point, the standard starting point, single filer, Mr. Anderson. We've got no dependents up top, 100,000 in the W-2 income. We've got the 12,900 standard deduction getting us to the 87,050 of the taxable income mirroring that over here on our tax worksheet so we have the mirror in our form our tax formula page two then giving us the tax calculation the 14774 which we're going to plug in here and then we had a 15,000 withholding we are imagining getting us to the tax a refund of the 226 mirrored in our formula okay so now let's imagine that there's going to be income from the pension and annuity which was going to be down here on line 5a so typically the form that would be received would be a form from a financial institution which might not look exactly like this but it will have the relevant boxes uh, for it and it should say somewhere 1099 r distributions from pension annuities and so on and so forth we're typically focused on box one and two gross distributions and then the taxable amount of them and then oftentimes we're focused on box seven of course which will tell us if it's a normal distribution or if there's some other code related to it if you don't know what that code means then you can check your software will often help or you can go to the to the uh, instructions that are actually on the form if you don't have it in your documentation that you're looking at you can go on the IRS website and look up this form and look at the the number codings on the right so typically we would expect if someone is in the area of retirement a normal distribution and uh, if meaning they're old enough to be able to pull out the distribution without like a penalty or if they are not in that time frame then you might have an early distribution and then another common code would be the rollover uh type of code because it's going into because you're rolling over from one uh pension to another so that would be the ones we want to kind of test out here so let's bring it on back on over let's i'm going to imagine now that mr anderson is in the retirement years that's when we would most expect to be receiving money from these uh 1099 R's if you're dealing with someone that is past their working years and then we'll run some scenarios where they are before the working years and have some penalties applied okay so I'll just note that I'm in the same data input screen as we were with the IRA uh, so the only difference really here is going to be from an IRA to a pension and annuity it's going to have this box checked off or not so I'm not going to check it off this time and then we're going to say that the distribution code let's start off with a normal distribution which would be a seven in our code here and that would be represented right there in the distribution codes and then i'm going to say that the gross distribution was a thousand let's say a thousand and the taxable amount is a thousand meaning we had a thousand in box one and generally box two and that would be what we would typically expect because it is going to be taxable the fact that it's a normal distribution should mean that we don't get hit with the penalty on top of the tax we're going to be paying all right jumping back on over now i'm in the tax uh, form 1040 uh, sr because they're in the retirement years but i like to still kind of look at the 1040 sometimes just so we can see the same format so i'm going to look at the 1040 it says we're uh, single now we've got mr anderson and here it says born uh before january 2nd 1958 and then i still got the hundred thousand that i kept in the w-2 income for now and then i put a uh, ten thousand down here i meant to put one thousand let's change that to one thousand one thousand and pulling that on over so now it's all going to be uh, a taxable so it's in line 5b that increases the the taxable the total income and so then we have the standard deduction has been increased because they're past retirement age at the 14 7. let's mirror that over here so i'm going to say all right we've got the hundred thousand and then on the second page we have the ira distributions let's add some more rows here i'm going to say insert and say this is now sometimes you could put the ira distributions and the pension in the same data input area if you want to or you might want to break it out if you break it out it's kind of nice because you can see it 
and the two separate lines on the form uh, 1040. Uh, but, but sometimes if you put them together, that's how it's showing on the data input field. So sometimes that makes it easier that way as well. But I'm gonna break them out here and I'm gonna say this is gonna be then the pension and annuities. Let's say pension and annuities. Did I, I, there's no way I spelled that right. There's no way. I did, maybe. I don't know. It says it's not giving me a whatever. Font, I'm going to say this is going to be black and white. Now, we could have a few of these 1099s. So I'm going to just leave some space, make some blue areas down below, dropping it down. Blue, I'm going to go. If you don't have that color, you can go to the more colors standard and hit that's the blue I'm going for here. You could, you don't have to use that blue. You can use other colors. You can use green if you're comfortable with the standard spreadsheet green. And then the total pension and annuities is on down below. So this is going to be 1099-1099-R1, right? The first form. R10, R10, R2, D2. This is going to be then 1000. The total I'm going to sum up down below equals the sum of these and that should then be included in my total down here so i'm just going to drag that on down boom and there's the 101 pulling into line one of the 1040 so that matches out my 12,009 has to be increased now by the fact that it's going to be another 1750 because they're over 65 i believe and then we're going to say we've got the 86.3 86.3 matching right there so that looks muy b to the n muy bien muy bien T page two 14609 14609 let's put that here 14609 and then we still have the 15,000 on the withholding bringing us down to the 391 Okay, so there is that one. That's the first scenario. Let's change it up and imagine that all of their income is coming from is coming from a Where's it coming from? pension uh, and or annuity instead of having the 100,000 up top. And I'll also break it out so we have we can see the distributions from an IRA versus a pension uh, now this time. So if I go to the first tab, I'm going to say no more W-2 income past the working years so they don't have w-2 income anymore that's what we would expect from older taxpayers right and then i'm going to say new tab let's make this one just a hundred thousand hundred thousand one hundred thousand fifteen thousand on the withholdings now so remember if someone's in their retirement years then you have to deal with their withholdings because some of their items might be taxable because they're coming out of retirement plans which they got a tax benefit when they put the money in so then we have to try to get the withholdings correct for the money that they take out and or make estimated tax payments so they they don't get hit with penalties and interest 